Several large-scale projects receiving attention from Sioux City City Council members. That includes an ordinance aimed at limiting the number of car dealerships in the city. We've got the details in our top story tonight at 10 o'clock. In a 3-2 vote, council members approved the first reading of an ordinance that would end an interim automobile sales, rental, and service moratorium. Julie Schoener and Alex Waters voted no. The moratorium was in place from June 8th through November 9th and is pending a second and third reading. Now, city documents indicate there are 67 automobile sales dealers licensed here in Sioux City. That includes 40 used car dealers and 10 franchise new and used dealerships. Mayor Bob Scott told us council members need to make up their mind on the issue. If some people want a moratorium, why are we doing it six months at a time? If we if we truly want a moratorium, then let's get a moratorium and be, you know, say we have enough car lots in town and we don't need any more. Uh, I would certainly look at that because I think we do have enough used car lots in our community. Now, during that six-month moratorium, the city received eight inquiries regarding new automotive sales locations in the city limits. Elsewhere, council members unanimously approved a nearly $14 million contract with Christensen Commercial Contracting Incorporated. That's for the digestion and high-strength waste receiving improvement project at the wastewater treatment plant. The company out of Pender, Nebraska, will build a high-strength waste receiving facility along with related pumping and piping as well as other devices. The project is set to be done within 455 working days. The aging plant was built in 1961 and treats more than 28 million gallons of wastewater per day. Meanwhile, a Cone Park destination patio project, as it's being called, moving forward after council's support today. This is a public outdoor destination patio near the lodge in the works, which includes a synthetic turf multi-use area, natural gas, fire pits, and overhead structures. The estimated cost, almost $402,000, which is covered by the state of Iowa's Destination Iowa program. Now, the majority of the patio is expected to be finished July 15th of 2025, with the exception of the plant material installation and site restoration. That is set to be complete October 15th of next year. And finally, council members also approved plans and specifications for a roof replacement project at the Tyson Event Center. This will include removing, disposing, and replacing the membrane roofing and associated flashings on the barrel roof that sits on top of the event center. The estimated costs, about a million dollars, almost 756,000 of that will come from the building's remodeling and repairs budget for this fiscal year. More funds to cover that project will be requested from the 2026 fiscal budget. The anticipated completion date is July 31st of 2025.